you know, we don't do this often, man. So it's a beautiful thing to be able to talk to everybody worldwide, man. The real is back. In fact, you know what, man? Look on it and kick it. You know, let pop champagne on these whole ass niggas, man. We're going to pop champagne uh, on these whole ass niggas, the haters. Hey, man, let me tell you something, man. God is great. Um, A lot of people make it look easy. It ain't easy, man. So when you see a nigga on here popping champagne, it came with a lot of blood. It came with a lot of sweat. It came with a lot of tears. It came with a lot of hard work. I've earned the right to pop my shit, man. Do you know how many niggas have tried to stop the fat rat with the cheese, little O? Hey, man, all have failed, man. I'm the greatest of all players, man. For real, for real, man. My catalog is impeccable, man. My track record cannot be questioned, man. I'm one of the greatest. You know what I'm saying? Real shit, man. This is the greatest of all players. You're a witness to something special, man. R.I.P. Big Pokey, man. R.I.P. Big Hawk. R.I.P. Big Mo. R.I.P. DJ Screw. R.I.P. 3-2. R.I.P. Pimp C. I walk with legends, man. I'm the fat rat with the cheese, little O, man. And I'm finna stand on business. Let's pop champagne. That's what the fuck I do, man. Let's celebrate. We have defeated the whole ass niggas. You whole ass niggas have failed. If you a nigga that has tried to stop me in any shape, form, or fashion, you have failed. Shame on you. Let's pop Shame champagne. God damn. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey man, and for those man, again, it's, it's it's real life, Jeff. Um, I got my brother in the building. Hey, come on, share yeah, pop champagne on there. Yeah, trill spill, man. Hey, if y'all got any questions, man, hey, this y'all time to to get it in. We're doing a live Q and A. We're doing a live listening party. He finna go through his new album, man. For those who don't know the new album, man, tell them what the new album is, bro. The new album is the greatest of all players, man. And um, it's an impeccable project, by the way. You know what I'm saying? I made food on the table. That is that is a street classic. Let's be clear, man. This ain't, you know, cap music. This is, this is the motivation music. This is the music that made niggas go get the bag, man. I made food on the table. I made fat rap with the cheese. Jealous got me strapped, flood. I've been the motivation for a lot of real niggas. There's a lot of real niggas that'll stand on that too. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't put out anything that I felt uh, wouldn't live up to those standards. You know what I'm saying? The greatest of all players, it's an impeccable piece of work, man. And um, I'm glad to be here sharing it with the world and putting the streets on it, man. Real shit, man. Um, Hey, we got a call the man with somebody somebody called in. Check call last. In, Come on, put, put your headphones on real quick. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Talk to him. Hold on, let me put these headphones on. Caller, what's going on? Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can't hear you. I can't. Okay, let, let, me, let, let me let me let me make sure that, 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 that I can might hear. Be, yeah, it might his, his mic might be tripping, man. But it's all okay. good. Is your mic off? Yeah, his mic, mic his mic went off. That's cool. That's okay, cool. we're gonna try him again. Yeah, tell him to please call back, man, because I want to talk to every single last one of y'all, man. Every single last one, I want to talk to everybody, man. Um. But yeah, man, shout out to everybody that's been rocking with the movement. Uh, the new album, The Greatest of All Players, is out right now. Um, and it's an impeccable project, man. I'm glad to share it with the world. It got a lot of big records, a lot of incredible songs, man. Shout out to everybody that's already on it. You know, hit records like Date Night, Trill, so many incredible records, man. But you know what? I felt it was important we started off this interview was something brand, brand new. Um, You know, the death of Big Pokey hit me hard, man. And, you know, um, so many people, it's like, I always tell people, the flowers, 
they quick to give you flowers, but the money you always going to have to fight for. You know what I'm saying? They quick to give you flowers, but the money you always going to have to fight for. And um, one of the greatest producers in Texas history, Sean Solo, that's who made Swangin' and Bangin'. That's who made uh, Pimpin' and Pen, Zero, Too Many Niggas, uh, so many incredible records. He was working on his album um, where he produced all the beats called Water World 2. And he reached out to me. He said, Look, oh, uh, I got this beat I want you to hear. It's an incredible beat. Um, and I heard it and I knew it was going to be magic. And this was the first song I recorded after Pokey's death. And it's titled When They Sleep. And it really got a lot of meaning to me because. Hey, man, even when these niggas sleep, man, I'm going to be on their ass, man. Pokey, I know you listening, man. H.A. Dub, I know you listening. Even when they sleep, I'm going to be on these niggas' road, man. Even when they kind of style, even when they think uh, that they can't, something can't be done again. I, I've showed up and showed out so many times that niggas should know by now not to count me out. So let's world premiere the brand new Love Old single. Off of Water World 2. Shout out to Sean Solo, by the way. Make sure you check out Water World 2. But let's get into the brand new Lil O video. I mean, this for the trunk, man. This for the streets. This is what it's supposed to, this what this what having it your way is supposed to feel like, man. This is where I want niggas pulling up. Hey man, from Oak Cliff to South Park, man. You know what I'm saying? This is how it's supposed to sound, man. From Maine to Spain, this is what I want real niggas pulling up, jamming. Spread the word. This is this 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 is the streets, man. This ain't this ain't we ain't waiting for no industry niggas to co-sign shit. We don't need them to co-sign shit. This the brand new little old when they sleep official video. Run that shit, man. Real life street stars. Let's go. Yeah. Even when they sleep. You know. I know I'm a real nigga, and I know I love it, man. And I feel like I know what boys want to hear in the trunk, man. Um, I love that song, man. Uh, I think it just represents uh where my mind is right now, man. Um, it really does represent uh where my mind is right now, man. And um, I feel real good about it, man. Real shit, man. And that was the first song I did. Uh after pokey died when they sleep uh it's the first single shout out to sean solo water world too that's for the trunk man make sure you spread the word on that but let's get into uh talking about the greatest of all players man um let's restore the vibe see i make big records man let's just be clear man um okay well what caused you to make trill um that's that's a great question. Look, man, uh music has to be from the soul. I've always made music I felt that was passionate. I made it can't rain forever. Um, all right. I've always wanted to make music that uh meant something. And when I go on social media now and I see the state of the world, you know, so many black men we suffer in silence because um when you see this shit going on, it's very depressing. And um, I kind of feel everybody knows a lot of this shit is wrong, but don't no one want to say nothing because don't no one want to say, oh, no, don't no one want to be, oh, you judging or, oh, you hating. It's like now if you have an opinion now, you get uh, criticized for it. So it's real easy to get on social media and see the state of the world and the state of community right now and not be depressed and not lose your sanity. Trill is like, man, how much abuse can one man take? If you listen to the hook, how much abuse can one man take? I'm just trying not to break. I feel like everybody fake and I'm the only one real. And that's kind of how I feel right now, man. When I, when I go on social media and I see the state of the world and, and all the whole ass shit going on and no one says anything about it. I'm not judging because I understand 
why people keep quiet because just just to have peace you got to let a lot of shit go you get what i'm saying so trill is for all those that feel like me man that's just trying to keep their sanity in this whole ass world man cuz i know it's not easy i feel i'm a very strong person and if it's hard for me to keep my sanity if it's hard for me to stop from going crazy if it's hard for me to uh not want to lose it i know it's hard for a lot of people so trill it was my song hey man no matter what you're going through i know it feels a lot of time like the whole ass niggas is winning i know it feels a lot of times like uh the devil is only is the only one that's giving out blessings it feels like only the wicked are prospering a lot of times people clout chasing doing sucker shit and it feels like damn do i gotta do whole ass shit to win I mean, I'm here to tell you, man, the devil is a lie. Stay down till you come up. Be of good integrity. Be a good faith. Stay trill, man. I know it's hard. I know it's a lot of abuse mentally. Mental state is important, man. And trill is that song for anybody that's going through anything. And when you look at the world, you get depressed. I mean, don't break. Don't fold. Stay trill. And I love that song. Um, it got Bumby on it. Big Marcus is singing on it. And he's an incredible singer. Um, it, it feels like church. Look, man. Look, man. Some of this music, it don't feel like nothing, man. It don't feel like nothing, man. Someone got to make something that means something, man. When I hear trill, it sounds like the black church. It sounds like gospel music. People have forgotten this music got to stand on something, man. So I really hope when people listen to the new little old Bumby and Big Marcus trill, they get inspired and they choose to keep moving. They, they, they choose to stay positive. They, uh, they choose to keep moving forward. You get what I'm saying? That is, that is, that is my hope and prayer, man, that uh, people get motivated and... Um, they understand to stay strong, man, because uh, the devil is busy, man. The devil is busy, busy, and um, we got to stay a good faith and don't fold, man. You know, um, because we're talking about trill. You know, can we get into the trill video? Can we get into the trill video? Let's 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 see if you haven't seen or heard trill. You know, uh, I don't know if we was having. Did, did they hear all this? Uh. uh or did it go out? Okay, so look, let's do this, man. First of all, shout out to who asked that question. That was the motivation behind Trill. Uh, I didn't mean to get so emotional, but uh, I feel it's important. I'm trying to make music with purpose, man. The greatest of all players is out right now. Let's get into that brand new Lil' Old Bumpy and Big Marcus. This one here is called Trill, man. Bro, check it out. I hope I don't make no mistake, but I'm gonna stay trill. Like my nigga Pimp C. So get off a nigga dick, let a pimp pee. Damn. Paid all you want, I am simply the best to ever do it. Henceforth, I got the Ben Lee. I love that record, man. I love that record, man. I really do. Um, I, let's, 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 let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let me do. I need to put my headphones on. Oh, no, man. I'm just over here checking out, seeing what's going on. Hey, what's going down, homie? Thanks for calling in. Oh, my. Hey. I just wanted to say, boy, y'all niggas be doing some hell of our shit, man. Shit, I love man, to check y'all boys out. Man, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for repping the culture, man. Uh, thanks for repping for Lil O. And, and thanks for repping for Real Life Street Stars, man. Real shit. Hey, hey it's, a, it's a lot of shit y'all boys put out there, man. We wouldn't even know about if there one thing motherfuckers like y'all, you know? No shit, man. No shit. Um... 
it's a blessing to be recognized for the culture, man. And um, we're going to keep repping it, man. And it starts with niggas like you. You know, this shit came out the trunk. You know, the industry niggas ain't really show us no love. You know, the streets made us. The streets made ASUC. So it's guys like y'all that spread our movement. So I salute you, brother. Thank you for calling in, man. I appreciate you, man. Y'all boy, be safe, man. Have a good one, now. Already. Yes, sir. Hey, you know, I got emotional when uh I was listening to that trill, man. Uh, cause when was the last time you really heard some music that really had substance like that? I love that record. It's an important record. Uh, shout out to Bum B, shout out to Big Marcus. Um, I mean the greatest of players. We making big records, man. Shout out to my brother Trill Art. Trill Art. He does not play games. He shoots incredible videos. Trill Art, look, man, I think people got to understand, man, I'm doing all this indie, man. That's just how much I care about what it look like. When people see Lil O, they need to know how much I put in to making sure Texas look good, man. So shout out to Trill Art, man. Um, the greatest of all players streaming on all platforms. Now, I make big records, man. That's just the bottom line. People got to understand, look, how many hit records does Lil O have? How many hit records does Lil O have? I made Back Back. I made We Ain't Broke No More. I made Bet You Can't Do It. I made Can't Lee Drink Alone. I made That's All We Had. It Can't Rain Forever. You talking about Big Mo City, a Serp album? I made I'll Do It. I made Get Back. Uh, that's me. Stopped and look. I mean, all right. It, it, it's just, it's it's so many little old records that I forget, man. So people got to understand, man. I'm not here by favor. I'm here because I'm really that mean. You know, Um, we got to restore the vibes and music. That's just how I feel. You know, a lot of times uh, people wait for the world to catch on, you know. So I understand I'm not in the music business. I'm in the art business. Anytime I make a record, it is to last the test of time. Lil O will always come back with a big record. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. It's my God-given talent, man. In fact, let's pour some more champagne in that. Hold on, right? Let's pour some more champagne. Let's pour some more goddamn champagne. Let's pour some more champagne, man. Let's pour some more champagne. Yeah. Let's pour some more champagne to that, man. Let's pour some more champagne to that. Uh, because it's really a big deal, you know. Um. The greatest of all players. It's an incredible album. Y'all just saw the uh, video for Trill. But let's get into another big record. I love all this album, man. You know, um, said oh yeah. Oh uh, man, I want everybody who's in the chat right now, man. Remember, y'all can call up. Y'all can hit the link. Y'all can ask him any question, man. He's here, man. He drove all the way from Houston, all the way to Dallas to make this happen for y'all, bro. And he did that off the strength, just trying to show his fans some love. And we, we, we. You know, we're going through the records with them. No doubt. No doubt. And, um, it, you know, I just want y'all to put in the in the chat, man. Just ask a question in the chat. We're going to pin it, and he's going to answer it. If you don't want to come up, um, if you, if you got a song request, man, put it in the chat, man. We we here. We no here doubt. for y'all. No doubt, man. What you got, man? Rick B, man. You got a question for him? You got a question? Straight. Thank you, brother. No, nah, this, this, this is a legend. It's a legend. Thank yeah. you, brother. Texas legend. Facts. Fucking raise me on some music, goddamn me, because you know, play, play a shit all day long with my brother. No doubt. Yeah, you know I mean, so. Speaking of player shit, man. Speaking of player shit, um, my new hit record, Date Night. Date night, date night, man. Oh, uh, yeah. But let's talk about date night before we go into the video. Uh, you know, when I listened to the music, man, it was so much about uh spinning and killing and whoop the woo. It's like, hey, man, Lil O has always. I like bitches, man. I like bitches. I'm a player. I, I love women. I love seeing women get dressed. I love seeing them smile. 
I love I love taking them out and showing them a good time. And hey man, if you got something loyal and solid, it's really a blessing because ain't really shit. I, look, hey man, these these girls that was raised on social media now, they're different. If you really got something solid right now, you gotta make sure you take good care of them, man. Hey, what they ain't missing shit in the streets. And don't let don't let these niggas lie to you and tell you you missing something. If you got something that's loyal and solid, honor her, show her a good time. And guess what, lady? You honor that man, too. It's good when you have someone to do this thing called life with. That's why I made date night, because if, if, if you go now on, on all the apps, it seem, is it me or it seem like it's always men versus women? Facts. Or women versus men. Yep. But I don't want social media to lie to you. It's a lot of people that are in relationships, they're happy, they're living life. It's nothing like having a teammate to do this shit with life with. So date night was about celebrating each other, having a good time, and it's a whole motherfucking vibe. Shout out to all the DJs in Texas, Louisiana, all, all over the world. Let me tell you something, man. Restore the vibes. This is an easy kill. This this record just feels good. I'm so proud of it. I hey man, this is my brand new hit record, Date Night, featuring Eddie Cope off my album, The Greatest of All Players. I want y'all to see this video. I love this record. To all the vibe, I'm not even going to call them DJs. To all the vibe setters, this is an easy kill. I want this all in your Serratos. I want this being played at brunch, in the clubs, just... Ladies, I want to see y'all getting dressed to this on TikTok. I want to see y'all in the restaurants playing this. It just feel good, man. I make feel good music, man. Little old date night, man. Let's let's get into that new video. Uh, let's get that queued up, man. They need to see this, man. Yeah, let's date night. I want to take you out. Tell them, could you stay right? right? Have some good conversation to the late night. Yeah. Then get you to the crib. Get up in your waist, right? I love the way you write it. Thank you. Tape pipe. I love that record, man. I love that record, man. I love that record, man. That's a big one. Date night. Lil' O featuring Eddie Cope. Hey, man, that should be in every DJ, every vibe set of Serato, man. That's just, it just feels so good. I see Amsterdam checking in, man. Shout out to Amsterdam, man. I see y'all boys checking in. Man. Shout out to my brother DJ Beto, man. PA, what's up, man? I know you pulled up feeling good right now. Beto, what's happening, baby? Hey, man, OG Slim East, I see you, man. Sergeant, I see you, man. Tony Smith, everybody that's, that's checking in, man. If I could, then I would. I love that record, too, man. Um, We going through some of the greatest records uh, from my new album, The Greatest of All Players, China Dog. China the Dog, what's up, baby? Um, I think it's important people know that uh, I'm a, this is all indie, man, so... Whenever people share my music and spread my music, it's really a big blessing to me. So I shout, I, I, I really salute all my fans that have been rocking with me uh, so long, man. Real shit, man. Um, I'm letting y'all hear some of these uh, records off the Greatest of All Players album. Uh, I'm breaking them down. What was the meaning behind them? Um, I mean, all bullshit aside from date night, uh, Men, women, treat each other right, man. And um, it's good to have someone to share this thing called life with, man. Uh, it's like you was just saying, man, date night is player, man. I love taking a beautiful woman to a nice restaurant or just showing her a good time. And um, ladies, don't let social media fool you, man. All this bullshit about, uh, you know, uh. 50 50 and this and that i mean a lot there are a lot of happy couples that not understand teamwork make the dream work man and that's that's real shit man uh shout out to everybody jamming date night i think that's a real big record and uh i'm personally asking all the vibe setters and djs to make sure y'all support that record because it just it just feels real good man make sure you hit the uh link at the bottom stream y'all you can actually call up here i'm answering questions live uh i can see y'all uh responses here i'm answering questions live man and i appreciate everybody that's tuned in right now you know um i feel like i want to play another video off uh 
my latest album, The Greatest of All Players. Wait, someone got a question. We'll say, Lil O, I want to know if you would play The Gathering. We'll say, Lil O, I want to know if you would play The Gathering of the Juggalos if I paid and invited you. Lil O's always down to get the bag, man. <laughs> the booking info is in my IG it, it bio, Facebook bio. We'll always figure it out. You go know what I'm saying? So definitely. Uh, I'm always down to get the bag. Uh, but back to uh this album, man. It's art, man. Like, I think a lot of times you listen to the music and um, it's just not hitting the same, man, because... I don't think people are taking time uh, with the work, you know. How we can buy this music is another question. It's streaming on all platforms. Anywhere there's music. Okay, you're talking about hard copies. Uh, every it, Well, first of all, streaming on all platforms and on iTunes, of course. Hard copies, I'm not really doing no hard copies right now, but the music is available on all platforms, you know what I'm saying? Uh. I want to get into another song off the album, man. Uh, it's another incredible video, man. Um, it's crazy because the homie here was just telling me about how much he loved that song. And um, it still feels good when people tell me how much they love this new music, man. Um, it reminds me a lot of one of my biggest records, We Ain't Broke No More. Um, the record is called Bossed Up. Let's pull up the little old Bossed Up video, man, featuring Wondrous. It's, it's, man, it's the shit. It just feels good, man. I feel like this is what having it your way is supposed to sound like. This is what Texas sounds like in 2023. And it's just a dope record. I think Screw would have loved this record, man. This is Lil O featuring Wondrous, bossed up off the greatest of all players' albums, streaming on, on all platforms now. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend, man. Let's rep this real nigga music. Run it back, play it from the top. Let's go. Real life street stars, little O. Let's go. We ran through all the bottles, we ran through all the models We knocked off all the forms and pushed them to the throttle We quit tissing these hoes, get money became the motto My nigga, this all hustle, my nigga, this ain't the lotto I came through in the range, hopped out, did my thing Spit some bars of game, real niggas, they felt my pain It was the greatest of all players Streaming on all platforms now, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, look Bossed up, you know, let's talk about the making of Bossed up Because, you know, um Everybody now, and make it sound so easy, man. And um, I really want to talk to a lot of the young niggas right fast, man. Because so many times they ask me, hey, big homie, um, give me some advice. And um, one of the greatest things, um, pieces of game, I always try to give people some news they can use, you know what I'm saying? If it's meant to last, it's not going to happen fast. I'm just being honest with you. You know, um, I, the, where age comes wisdom, you get what I'm saying? Um, black men are the only men that aren't afforded the liberty to take their time when it comes to getting money. Most, we're expected to be rich in our 20s. You know, we actually got children thinking they're behind because they don't have a Rolls Royce in their 20s. And they're competing with old men in their 50s. and si most, most other communities, they give their kids time to grow up, go to college, uh, build a business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so, so many young black men are depressed because they think they're supposed to be rich early in life because... Most of the experiences um, they had with men with money were what? Athletes, which are usually young. Entertainers, which are usually young. Drug dealers, which are usually young. So somehow I feel like we got caught up, everybody thinking that you're supposed to be rich very young in life. But that's very, that's very, very rare, man. You know what I'm saying? It's very, very real. You got to take your time with this shit, man. You got to take your time with this shit, man. And you got to have patience and be able to grind it out and stick to the plan, man. So to all the niggas that think they behind, you're not behind, man. You're not behind. You're just doing it the right way. You're not behind. You're doing it. You're just doing it the right way. It took me years and years and years 
in years to boss up. Y'all remember how we ain't broke no more felt? Do you know how many times I went broke and had to bounce back? And how many times I had? I Look, let me tell you something, man. I'm going to just go on ahead and be real with you. I listen to a lot of these niggas. And we live in a time where you can't lie about who you are. I'm a little old. I'm a trap legend before I was a rap legend. Southwest will stand on that. Braisewood will stand on that. Wolfhead will stand on that. Club Creek will stand on that. Spice Lane will stand on that. Airport will stand on that. West Belford will stand on that. I know exactly what I'm talking about when I talk this shit, man. And everything I got from the game fast, man, I don't have shit to show for it now. Most of the niggas that, you know, the get, there's no win in the streets. You know what I'm saying? That's just, eventually someone has to be honest with you. You listening to rappers that don't even really, they've never even seen a brick before. A lot of these niggas. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy because people ask me, it's like, why you call yourself rat? A fat rat, like you talking to a real life street nigga and a boss. I can call myself the fat rat with the cheese. You go and say, my name ain't no paperwork. I know who name in the paperwork, them niggas who, who section you in. Them the niggas in the paperwork. The niggas you call the niggas who, and guess what? You, you know, the, the niggas that's popping the bottles who you have no problem with. As long as they got money, them the niggas in the paper. I ain't never fucked up nobody. And it's real kingpins that are stand on that. And I've been tested and put under pressure. You go know what I'm saying? I'm the fat rat with the cheese. That's not a rap name I was given. For those that always ask, why do they call me the fat rat with the cheese? I used to drink a lot of drink. You know what I'm saying? So the drink would swell up my body. And I was, look, I'm very slim and trim now. I'm still trying to lose more, but health is wealth. So, to, uh, you know, Brett, you know, brothers, take care of yourself, man. Helped as well. But back then I was young. I was wild. I was sipping pints. I was I was a big boy. You know what I'm saying? And before niggas got on social media, there wasn't no social media back then. Niggas just wouldn't call you reckless on the phone and be like, hey, man, bring me some work. Bring me. This. They would be like cheese is what we called work. So one day we was ranking on the corner. Niggas like you look like a fat little rat. And I was the wholesale man. And I was like, bitch ass nigga, I know, but Fat Red got the cheese. And then they was like, hi. I was like, okay, Fat Red. Then niggas would just start hitting me. Fat Red, Fat Red, you got some cheese? Meaning whenever they wanted some work, wholesale, whatever, and it just stuck. That is how I'm the Fat Red with the cheese. You know what I'm saying? So when niggas, some, some, some clown ass nigga that has never trapped a day in his life says things like, why would you put, because I'm, I can say that. Because you niggas have never even lit. Look, I would even hear stories, man. I heard, oh, I heard, uh, 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 oh, daddy, uh, it, it, it got bread, or he, he you know, or I heard he's an African prince, uh, whoop de whoop. Uh, is he really? Look, man, look, man, in 20, what, 30 years, no one has ever called me a lie, man. I don't even answer such foolishness, bro, because it would be an insult. It would be an insult for me to even have to defend myself on that. The state of Texas will tell you what the fuck I am. If I tried to run for mayor or governor, do you know what the state of Texas would say? They would say, oh, no. Look at this boy, right? This boy is a motherfucking D-boy. This boy is a D-boy. But that's why I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't stress the street life because I know the hell it has brought me, the pain it has brought me, the, the, my friends that are still in the feds right now. I bossed up and I did it the right way. It took time. And look, man, sleeping good at night. I want I want this peace that I have now for all the brothers out there. And I don't want them to be tricked off the street and feel rushed, man. So that was the motivation behind bossed up. It's, it ain't just about getting the bag, but it's a different feeling when you get it the right way and you worked hard for it, man. So stay down till you come up, man. We got a question, man. What's going on? What is a special story you have about the legendary DJ Screw? Um, I got so many, man, but the most legendary story to me, it's not even legendary, but it's just the first time. And um, 
I want a lot of DJs to pay attention to this story. For those that want to know how I met DJ Screw, I simply knocked on his door. You know, this was before there was a screwed up records and tapes. People would just go to his house. He had the burglar bars up. You give him the money. He slide the tapes through the uh, burglar bars. The nigga had, would have lines down. There. People thought he was selling crap. But, uh, you know, when I went to his house, I was just going, going to get some tapes. And I was like, hey, man, I'm a little old from the West, man. Um, well, first, you know, I want to buy some taste, but this is my new song, Can't Stop. I had it on a test press. This is my new song called Can't Stop. If you can, could you please check it out? It got my homegirls on it, Destiny's Child. It's me, Beyonce, Kelly, Latavia, and Kelly Rowland. This is our first song. We kids. Hey, man, could you please listen to us? And he was like, yeah, man, I'm going to check it out. I thought he was playing. You got to remember, this is the biggest DJ in the streets right now. So I thought he was playing. I gave it to him. He said, yeah, I'm going to check it out. 30 minutes later, he called my phone. And he was like, hey, man, this song is dope. I'm putting it on a mixtape right now. And I thought he was joking. And he really did it. And for those that don't understand, this is why we say screw love is that true love. I think a lot of times, especially a lot of the DJs, hey man, I can't stress this to you enough. You got to break net records, man. You got to put the, the, the people got to be able to come to you and put people on first. You can't wait for the world. You can't wait for the world to co-sign something, then play it. Because I think you end up hurting yourself, man. Because once you serve no purpose to the art, the art will get rid of you. The DJ has to break records. And I just think, what if DJ Screw would have told me, man, you ain't nobody, man. I'm not going to play this bullshit. This was the hottest, hottest record, hottest DJ in the streets. What if he said, man, you, you ain't, we don't even know you, man. So where does that leave the kid that don't have no financial backing, that doesn't have an investor, that can really make music? You got to help those guys, man. It is yo, it is part of being a DJ, man. The DJs, you got to get back to breaking records. This is why we say screw love is that true love, man. So many artists owe screw, and that's why. I've never met anybody, any DJ that got rich off of charging niggas to break their records. All the DJs I know that got rich, they got rich off of breaking records on their own and just showing the world new artists and new songs. And I just feel it's important we get back to that. That is why we say screw love is that true love. And to this day, that exact test press I gave screw of Can't Stop with me and Destiny's Child, it hangs on the wall in the Screw Museum to this day. The original test press, it hangs on the wall in the DJ Screw Museum today. And when I look at it, I just remember that kid that went and gave him that wax. And it took me so much courage to do that, man. But it took him so much love to just help a no-name, man. And that's my greatest story of school. And I always tell that story about school because that's who he was. He broke a lot of new artists. He, he, he made a lot of new artists. He didn't wait on the world to put anybody on. He was a trendsetter. And that's why we're still talking to him, talking about him all these years after his death, man. So I want to salute Screw. He actually, he actually passed away, I think yesterday marks the 23 year anniversary of DJ Screw dying. If I'm, long live you know, Screw, man. Long live Screw, hey, amen. No. Hey, man, Robert Earl, God bless you, yeah, man. Robert Earl, Dave. God bless you, man. I almost want to bust out crying, man, because, hey, man, where man. would I be right now if you didn't show me love that day, man? Can, can we get into that record? I know. Um, yeah, let's do yeah, that. Let's get, I know we let's do that the because that was my first. Can't. That was my first break to the world, man. Uh, One more question, then we gotta play the can't stop. Right. Cause that that shit go hard. What up, little O? How about a collab with Sauce Walker, True Facts Family? Ooh, we to woo woo. First of all, you know, shout out to the whole TSF. Uh, shout out to all the artists 
uh, young artists coming out uh, H Town. Um, I think people, and, and this is just my honest opinion. I don't think people understand how incredible of a rapper Sauce Walker is. I think I really think he's a dope MC. He's a great artist. And um, I know how hard it is to make a name for yourself out of Ace Town. So I just salute him and, and the whole TSF. I wish him nothing but the best. You know, Lil Santi, that's my baby. That's my little bro, man. Uh, I know he on lock right now. Hey, 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 little bro, this OG Fat Rap, man. You know I love you, Bubble. Hey man, God bless you. Uh, I hate it, but I know you a stiff young nigga, man. And um, you stay down, man. Uh, but shout out to Sauce Walker. If it's ever uh the right song and the right opportunity, you know, um, I'm happy to do it, especially with a, a artist I consider as talented as Walker. So shout out to the whole TSF. Y'all boys keep holding it down, man. Real talk. Uh. Let's get, let's get into that can't stop. Let's bring them. A lot of people don't even know that uh, this is my, you know, that, that I put Beyonce in her first video. I put Kelly and Latoya and Latavia in their first video. The original and, Destiny's yeah, Time. Yeah, the original Destiny's Time. And shout out to those queens, too, man. I'm very proud of them. I'm very proud of all their accomplishments, man, because I know where it started. I know how we stayed up in the studio at night streaming and talking about all the things we're going to accomplish. I'm very proud of all all of those young ladies, and um, they've always been class acts, and I stand on that. I mean, let's get into a little old classic. This is little old featuring Destiny Child, Can't Stop, my very first record, RP DJ Screw. I can't stop. I can't stop. That's some classic hey, shit, man. Hey, man, look, man. That's that did crazy. some, you know what? We gotta post. Let's post some more champagne. Hold on, right, fast. We gotta post some more champagne to that. Hold on, right, quick. Yeah, nah, that shit was classic, bro. And it's 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 authentic Texas shit, man. You know what I mean? That's why I wish that, um, like the younger generation of rappers out of Texas will have that fucking Texas feel instead of like, ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? When when you heard Key Pat. All these niggas, man, from the H, even yeah. some Dallas, you know what I mean? Like, it, it had that Texas feel, bro. You know what uh, I mean? Nowadays, it's like, when you hear some of these Texas rappers, you really don't even know where these niggas is from. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Little shit, crease down jeans, deuce out the window. Yeah, man, yeah. Sunroof, nigga. That's, yeah. That's Texas shit. Um, you know, I me, don't, me, I'm going to stay me. I, I feel like it's so. important, um... When he, when people hear a little old, I, you know, um, I feel it's important people understand when they hear a little old that this is Texas. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, you know, I, I, I'm big. I don't try to question what no one else is doing. I just salute uh, what I like. You know what I'm saying? I, um, but to all the younger artists, I just want to say this: identity is important. Identity is important. And you know, you know, it's crazy because you see how old boy. Shout out to uh, who was it? Ted Matrix. He said, uh, he said, uh, I like the screwed version. of can't stop. More people heard the screwed version. of can't stop than the like the original version. Now the regular speed version is heard. You know, but back then, that's how much Screw played that record. It was one of his favorite records. So a, a lot of times. Uh, the first people that heard uh can't stop. They heard it screwed. They wouldn't. They not even used to hearing it regular speed. You go. Know I'm saying. Shout out to my dog DJ B though, man. Tapped in, man. I know you. I know you smoking on it. Uh, feeling good right now, man. Um, I mean, this is a beautiful moment right now, man. A lot of a lot of people calling in. A lot of people checking in. Hey, man. If you late to the party, man. The greatest of all players is out right now. That's my latest album. Um, it's an incredible piece of work. Um, I'm so proud of it, man. It, it's another classic, man. We saw the Trill video. Uh, we saw the Date Night video. We saw the Bossed Up video. But it's crazy because you know how you just said it's important people know that you're from Texas. No, nah, for sure. And that's why I always talk with Texas slang. You know, I want to get into another song off the greatest of all players, man. 
It's called high siding. Hey, and, my, and, my bad, OG. I don't mean to cut you yeah. off, but I was jamming that bitch all day today. I say, yeah, this hoe right here hard. Like high side. Show, man. It's yeah. so many, you know, it when I put it out, you know, a lot of people, people, you know, some people they didn't know what high sign meant. And they said, Do you think, you know, some people were like, did you think they might not get look, man? I don't give a damn if they get it or not. I'm from Texas and I'm from H Town. And this is, you know, I talk H-Town slang. For those that don't know, that's tapped in, that's tuned in from all over the world, high side means, you know, hey, man, I'm, you know, it's really stunned. I don't see nobody, man. I'm really, I'm, it's not capping because it's facts. But when you're high side, you know, when I say I love high side on a hoe, that means I love balling on a bitch. Hoe, you going to feel me. You gonna feel me for if you was capping, if you thought a nigga was last place, if you thought it was over, hey man, I got a high side on you. I gotta act like I don't know you. I gotta act like you don't know you because I remember when I first tried to talk to you, uh, you act like a nigga with nothing, man. You act like I was a peon when I was really a boss, man, and you just didn't know at the time. But when you stepped out to the lot, you realize that when I'm high side, you know, niggas when niggas is holding they nuts, when you take a loss, you know, uh. A lot of niggas talk down, but when you bounce back, they try to come back around. I'm high side now. I I, I no longer know you, brother. <laughs> I no longer know you, brother. Please please remove this punk from my section immediately. I'm high side, you know. You 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 bitches that 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 thought uh it was a game. You know I'm high side. And I don't know you anymore, man. And I love this record because not only is it just Texas, man, but it's, if you listen to what I'm saying, I don't put out music that don't have a meaning. And it's really an underdog anthem, man, for any nigga that's ever been counted out, for any nigga that's ever had the mental abuse of, of, of feeling like he was in last place. Or, you know, because look, Bitches mouths be deadly, man. You know, when you when you up, you up. But when you take that loss, some of these girls, man, they treat you bad. It's like what I said with me and Big Pokey. One of my biggest records, that's all we had, R.B. Big Pokey. I say, man, when you broke hoes act funny, man. No, for real. You know what I'm saying? They treat you bad, man. So when you bounce back, you got a high side on these bitches, yeah. man. I don't understand how these niggas keep going back to the same women that treated them so bad. Get you a woman that like you for you, man. Quit being a tender dick, man. Treat that's a, that, that's a whole nother, man. Quit, get you a bitch that <laughs> like you for you, man. Hey, you man. are bounced back from the greatest adversities. You are apex predator. Have some goddamn self-respect and quit going back to bitches that mean you no good. Hey, man, we high sign on you hoes. Let's get into that little old high sign off the greatest of all players. Texas, stand the fuck up. <laughs> Man, I love high side on the hood. Plenty shots of some rock and plenty drugs. Yeah. Man, I love high side on the hood. Right, man, little old high side and real Texas shit, man. It's in the trunk, man. Hey, you know, um, I want to address that because people uh gotta understand why do I push records so long? Because um, first of all, first of all, first of all, let me say this, man. Uh, it has been multiple, multiple attempts to stop the little old movement. A lot of times uh, I had nobody to rely on by myself. And because of streaming, I understood that I was still capable because uh, of the streets and they, and they love me. I could break a lot of my records myself. I just had to uh I just had to stay the course. Like say for instance, High Sign, I've been put that out, I, but I put it on a new album because I understood in the streaming time, I, I'm giving game to a lot of indie artists. A record is always new to the world hears it. You know what I'm saying? So just because maybe, maybe, you know, you're not getting uh the support from people around you. It doesn't mean that it's not necessarily a record. And in the streaming era, new music is discovered every day. You, Every day. 
You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm so glad that I put high side on that album because I knew it was a banger. I say, how can a real nigga not love this? You know, but um, a lot of power gatekeepers used to have, they don't have that anymore. If you have the mental fortitude to keep going, I mean, keep pushing the music. The world will hear it when it's time. And it might be better at the time because God never fails, man. We are the last of the artists. We make timeless music. That song been made. It sounds fresh, though. You know what I'm saying? I was about to say that shit timeless, bro. Like, yeah, we I make... I caught wind of that shit now. I yeah, exactly. When you first put it out. We, I caught wind of that and thought, nigga, you did it yesterday. Exactly. You know I mean? We make the art. We make the, the art. Look, the video look up to date. Yeah, we, we make the art that stand the test of time. When you, oh, put, when you put your heart and you take time with what you do, um, it shows... And I really love that high side record, man. It's a dope record. And I can't stress this to you enough. Uh, the greatest of all players, man. It's a dope album. It's an incredible album. And if you ever loved the Lil O album, you're going to love this one just the same. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I want to get into a Lil O classic. You know, I kind of feel like, uh, well, you know what? Before we get into that record, you know what? Shout out to Highland Hills, man. Shout out to Highland Hills, man. See if anybody got a question. I love Dallas, man. For anybody that, man, that we... You, you know, got a question. If you got a question, man, put the question in the chat right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the StreamYard link back back out there, man, if y'all want to come chop it up with O, man. And, yeah. And give them some feedback, man. That's what this is for, man. You know, we want to get feedback to O. Let them know what songs you're feeling. If you ain't feeling some, if you love some, if you like some, put it in the chat. Yeah. You know, we trying to give them feedback, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, at the end of the day, man, we trying to put O back in that light that it's, you know, supposed to be. You feel what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, you know, he drove all the way down from H-Town, bro, to be with us, man. So absolutely, y'all give him feedback. Let him know what's going on in the chat, bro. Absolutely. And it's a motherfucking uh, legend in the building, so act like it, goddamn me. You know, you, you know, a project that I feel, you know, I'm just going to go, I'm, you know, this is, this, this, this is my uh, listening party. A project I feel doesn't get uh the do it deserves is the grind hard pray harder album and um one of the records on there that really went crazy that's really got a it, it means a lot to a lot of people in the streets is my record with J Dog called All Right. Um it's a special record. So I know I keep telling y'all about the greatest of all players album out right now. But I really want y'all to check out the Ground Hard, Pray Harder album, too. It's really an impeccable album. And I really want people to... Let, let's bring up an old school video. Let's pull up the Lil O and J-Dog All Right video. Because, like I said, music needs to mean something. And, like, we're making timeless music, so it don't matter. But this song right here, I call it... It's like ghetto gospel, man. And I love this record, man. And shout out to J Dog, my brother J Dog. Um, Big Marcus sang on this one too. I just want to play a throwback. This off my album, Grind Hard, Pray Harder, and it's a, it's an impeccable project too. I'm really putting you, putting y'all on a lot of incredible music right now. And I just want you to check out this throwback video right fast. This little O J Dog, Big Marcus, all right. Let's answer some questions. Let's do it. You ever going to make any more music with Zero? Wasn't you two going to do an album back in the day? Man, look, we got so many songs in the vault. To be honest with you, I don't even know what Rose doing with them. I don't even know if he still got them. I have no uh, idea. You know, shout out to Ro. Um, Anybody in SUC is always my brother. I'm always going to wish him the best. And, and I'm always going to have love for him. We've made history. You know, Can't Lee Drink Alone is a Texas classic. It Can't Rain Forever is a classic. Yeah, no, me, me and Zero have made in, incredible music, and um, he's a legend, and I'm always going to have love for Ro. But to be honest with you, I have no idea what he's done with those songs, you know, or if he still has it in his hard drive. I, I honestly don't know, but uh, shout out to the Most City Dom, man. Shout out, Ro. Next question. Next question. Did you have the pleasure to meet or make a record with the legendary 
Fat Pat. Of course I did. Um, if you listen to my first album, Blood Money, there's a song on there with me, Youngster, Fat Pat, and DJ Screw. And um, if you're a real little old fan, it's a classic. It's called Rags to Riches. And that's the beautiful thing about streaming right now. You can pull it up right now. Um, it's on the Blood Money album. It's Lil O, Fat Pat, Youngster, and DJ Screw. And it's called Rags to Riches. And it just reminds you of what a screw tape should sound like. You know what I'm saying? It's just a dope, dope record. It was just us freestyling and um having a blast, man. And um I love it, man. Real shit, man. I love it. Yeah, love so, it, man. so Lil O, yeah, exactly, man. Shout out to Pit. People don't know Pat love Lil O, man. Pat, Pat, lo Pat loved the little old man. He was a big little old supporter, man. R.I.P. P.A.T. How was it working with Hawk? Tony Smith. I'm Shout out to Tony Smith, man. How was it working with Hawk? Hawk is my tag team partner. We've made some incredible music together, but um, outside of that, man, Hawk was one of my real friends. That was a guy that I could call when I was feeling down. He was always there to remind me who I was. He'd always tell me, um, oh, you you one of the great ones, man. And an interesting story I have about Hawk is, if you follow me on social media, you'll notice I always end all my posts with, whoa. And um, people think I'm just being fly, but that's really my way of honoring Hawk. Because one day he called me to the studio to do a verse for him. And um, I knocked out the verse, and I was like, bro, I'm done. And he was like, what you mean you done? I said, yeah, I just laid the verse. You don't like the verse? And he was like, yeah, the verse hard as shit, but why you ain't go, yeah, whoa? And I was like, man, I didn't hear. I didn't think this, the verse needed it. And he said, he said, he said, oh, let me tell you something. The streets love it when you go, whoa. Always do that on all your shit. And I was like, man, are you for real? He was like, oh, always do the woe. And Hawk is the reason why I always do the woe on all my songs. So when he died, it hit me real hard. And if you, and you know, that was my big bro for real. So if, to this day, whenever I post anything on any social media and still on any song, I will always do the woe. And that is how I honor my brother, Big Hawk. It was it was an honor working with that brother, man. And I love him very much. I miss him very much. We got so many classics together. Back, yeah. back. Players get chose. Uh, get back. Uh, that's me. They scared. It's just it's just it's so it's that it's so many it's so many little Owen Hawk records you really can't count. And um. I've I, I, I walked with I've walked with Johns, man, and, and R.I.P. the Hawk, man. Um, you know, it's the anniversary of his death. Um, I want to say it's yesterday, a day before yesterday, and it, it it hit me real hard because I kind of feel like I'm not over Pokey yet. It's just you know I've, I've I've dealt with a lot, man. I've dealt with a lot of death in my life. Um, and it's crazy because these are the guys you thought that would be there. Uh, to see you experience some of the greatest moments of your career. And when you look to the left and you look to the right, they no longer on stage with you, man. And um, I miss those guys, man. R.P. Hawk, man. But yeah, it was H-A-Dub K, man. H-A-Dub K, man. I salute you, brother. I'm still here holding it down. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. We yeah. ain't gonna answer that just yet. The, uh, who's the top <laughs> three? Let, let's get to the record, and then we gonna come back to that. Hell, cause okay, <laughs> I wanna know that, but I'm like, keep them anticipating. Yeah, man. Yeah, Up top. Just, <laughs> uh, this, this, which one is this? The yeah, you and J Dog, yeah. Hey man, check this out. And I love this record. I know a lot of real niggas love this record. This is off my album, Grind Hard, Pray Harder, and this song became a big street anthem. And it still sound like it just sound it just sound amazing to this day. Let's run that little Owen J dog all right featuring Big Marcus, man. Ghetto gospel, music for the soul. And it's timeless, man. And it's just a beautiful record. And and peep the video too. Um 
it has a lot of meaning, man. Let's, so let's play this throwback video. Little OJ dog with Marcus. All right, let's go. Whoa, real life street stars. Yeah, we getting it on right now, man. Just that anthem right now. Shout out to my brother, Young Hog, too, man. Uh, you know, Fat Red love you, man. Real shit. We made a motherfucking classic uh, with this record. And uh, this one of them ones to me. When you ask what are some of the favorite, uh, you know, I think people, uh, it's good to have those big club records. It's good to have those uh, records that make people, you know, feel good. But I've always been a solo. I love the art. I love the songs that people stop me and say, "Hey, man, this song helped me get through this. Uh, this song helped me get through that. Or this this song helped me get through uh, one of the hardest moments of my life." So um, this all right record is it, just one of my favorite records, and. Um, I can't stress it enough. Shout out to Big Marcus too. He's really a top tier uh singer and um he has an incredible voice, you know what I'm saying? So uh we're pulling up that little O featuring J Dog in our right video. Uh do a blast from the past. Check out all my, my catalog is streaming on all platforms too. So whether it's a new record or old record, it's always new to be discovered, man. So um yeah, man, real shit, man. We we got that little O and J dog all right coming up. Okay, who who your top three all time Houston artists? Uh, I'm gonna put me in there, uh, and that's just not. I think I you know I think sometimes you gotta talk your own shit, but I think I can back it up. Uh, I love we have so many great artists, but um. I love Big Poyo, man. I love Big Pokey, man. To me, man, the hardest pit, man. He's, he's just always been one of my favorites, man. Uh, I got to give it to Face, too. I love Face. But, man, I, I you know, Houston has I had and, and still has some incredible artists, man. But I, I those are, I, I would say, really right now, little old me, Pokey, and face when it you know those are my favorite but shout out to the whole squad we got a lot of incredible artists that i love dearly man and um i respect but though i i would i would say those are my favorite three you know what i'm saying right. right now it ain't i wish i could tell you it's all good but i can't yeah no time for the soldier be strong be strong don't fall homie hold on Still jam, man. I love it, man. I love this shit, man. I love this music shit. And I love um I love how we how we rapping, man. Do I know Matt Sanzala? Of course I know Matt, man. That's my brother, man. He's been down with Lil' O since day one. Um I would definitely love to do something with Matt again, man. So if Matt, if you if if, if you see this, if you know Matt. Please tell him, little O said, reach out, man. We got, we definitely got to make some shake. Um, shout out to Matt Sanzala. He's been a big supporter of little O uh, since day one. My next question: Is there any artist you haven't got to work with that you wish you could? That's a lot of artists I want to work with. Um, um, you got to remember, if there's anybody that's anybody in Texas I've worked with, you name it, Beyonce, Pimp C, Bum B, Devin, Slim Thug, Kiki, Hawk, Pat, uh, Big Chief, Paul Wall, there's nobody a uh, little older. So I really want to work with a lot of guys from um, different coasts. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would love to work with Drake. I would love to work with Drake. I would love to work with Future. Um, I'm a huge Fabulous fan. I don't think Fab gets the, I don't think Fab gets the credit. He's really a top tier MC. You know what I'm saying? Fab is dope. I love Rick Ross and me. I love Rick Ross and Meek Mill new album too, man. Shout out to those guys. Those those guys really put out an incredible project. That's really what I'm jamming right now. I really also um. I like to work with a lot of Afrobeat artists, man. Shout out to Burner Boy, 
Shout out to WizKid. Shout out to DeVito. Um, if you don't know, Lil O is Nigerian. Lil O is a Yoruba boy. So a lot of the Afro beat artists that the world is just now seeing, I've been jamming their music since. Them. I've been on them. And it's, it's, it's so dope to see them taking over the world right now. So I definitely would love to work with a lot of the Afro beat artists. Um, I also love Tim's. I love her voice, man. She has she has the voice of a of a queen, man. Um, I just want to make some incredible music, man. I got I got some more shit in the vault. That's really why I'm here, man. It's a, I feel it's so important that uh I put y'all up on the greatest of all players album, and maybe some songs like you miss, like all right. Off the ground hard, pray hard album, or maybe it's can't stop. Uh, that first record I put out. I think that's the beautiful thing about streaming right now is that um, there's no such thing as an old record right now. You get what I'm saying? Um, you know, I want to get back into the greatest of all players right fast, man. Um, someone. Uh, wait, it, it was. Uh, what was it? All glass, Richie Ryan. From Miss Davis. I can't hear you. It says from Mr. Davis. Hold on, hold on. All glass which you riding. I'm not sure what he's talking about. Hey, can you DJ, can you clarify the question, please? And not showing up. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh, uh, they said somebody said I'll hook it up. Um with the um all right, give it yeah, my If he's asking what I think it is, it's foes. It's understood. I'm old school foes. At all time, there's nothing like it. Oh, okay, I see the question. Okay, there it is. Uh, now he, it was, it was a two-part question. Oh, okay. Let me see. Let me see. I don't see if I can see it. Let me see. Let me see. He said, "Which one you riding?" Thirty years. Let me see. Oh, okay. Hold on. Right here. Oh, okay. You talking about this? Fifteen inch swing, thirty spoke, eighty three. Boy, that H town going down right there, boy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, versus nineteen five Robert's blades. Oh man, I, you know, ooh, the blades though, bro. Look, the blade. It, it all depends on what kind of car it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Blades was blades was a time. Blades was a time too. But you know, um, swangers is always gonna swing. But you know, I'm not one of the guys that mix. You know, swings go on on slabs and blades go on forms. It's just I don't I don't I I, I don't I don't switch sides. Blades is <laughs> blades is forms. Swings is on slabs. You know what I'm saying? As oh, do we remember when he went? Ask oh, do he remember when he came to Dallas? I always remember when I come to Dallas because you know what? It's a lot of real niggas in Dallas that have been fucking with me since day one. You know what I'm saying? From all the hoods. Um, Dallas has always been good to me, man. And it's a lot of real niggas that fuck with me in Dallas, man. Shout out to Oak Cliff. Shout out to Highland Hills, man. Shout out to North Dallas, South Dallas. West Dallas, Funkatown, Ag Town, you know, I know these streets well, man. And and um y'all have always shown me so much love and, and I respect it, man. I'm grateful for it. Real shit, man. No, nah, for sure. Um, uh, but you know what? Um uh, I want to get into this one song. I just love this. This is off the new album, The Greatest of All Players, you know, because we keep it in Texas, right? Oh, sure. shout out to DJ Michael Watts. Um, 5,000 5, Watts is a pioneer. Um, I got a song on my album called The Great, uh, uh called T Lee, and with me and DJ Michael Watts, and that's just so banging to me, you know what I'm saying? And people, pe people sometimes say I keep it too ace time, I keep it too street, I keep it too text. They say, look, oh, everybody ain't gonna know what T. Lee mean. And and I said, that's okay. Yeah, nah. You ever heard that Jay-Z song where, where that little skit before, he says, I don't know what it means. It just sounds in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bitch, yeah, nigga, you ain't gotta know what it mean. But I felt it was important because someone always asked, what does T. Lee mean? So 
if you grew up in the streets, we shot a lot of dice. And um, T. Lee is two dice. It's, I take one of the dice, you take one of the dice, and we both roll them. And whoever rolls the highest point is who gets to shoot first. That is a T. Lee. But the song T. Lee, when I say T. Lee shoot the dice, it's pretty much telling you, man, I bet on myself and I won. T. Lee, shoot the dice, done it once, done it twice. That means, hey, man, I bet on myself when everybody counted me out. And I won. You know, I'm a, hey, man, I'm going to try. I grew up going to the gambling shack. You know what I'm saying? I grew up, no, see, I grew up going to the gambling shack where OG would have the cards where, you know, you shoot the point, they flip, okay, this is the point. It ain't no, you know what I'm saying? So, in front of all, and, and, you know, even 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 when the block, I saw we shot dice. So that's how we started the game. T Lee shoot the dice, but the song ain't really about shooting dice. What I'm saying is, um, I bet on myself and won. Shout out to every nigga that's ever bet on himself. That ain't wait on nobody to um put them on. It's different when you use your own bread. It's different. When you when you've been counted out, you go. Know I'm saying, I hey, mean, I bet on myself and I won. I've done it once, I've done it twice, and I'll do it again. Let's get into that little old feature in DJ Michael Watts T Lee, and this is a banger too. This that trap banger, man. All all the D all, all the vibe setters, hey man. This should be in your Serratos. This shit rocking, man. I love this song, man. Little old feature in DJ Michael Watts T Lee, man. The greatest of all players. Streaming on all platforms now. Let's go. Whoa. Came up, did my thing, did the watch, did the chain, did the coupe, did the range. Took some losses, yeah, but I can't yeah, complain. Yeah. I can't lie, trapped in the rain. I can't front, I done felt some pain. But I ain't trip, I ain't switch, I ain't bitch, I stayed in my lane. Yeah. Tea yeah. Lee. That's that little O featuring DJ Michael Watts. T. Lee, the greatest of all players streaming on all platforms right now. You know what? Let's pour some more champagne right fast. And by the way, there's a link at the bottom. You can call in. I'm answering questions or type your questions. Before we wrap it up, man, make sure you call in here if you have any questions, man. Yeah, now that girl did have a big old ass. I ain't lying. Let's pour some more champagne right fast for the whole ass nigga. We done defeated our enemies, man. We have defeated all our enemies. Everybody that tried to stop Lil' O, shame, shame, shame on you. God has made a way the real niggas have won. Let's pour more champagne to that. Hold on. How many? Let's, you know, let's bring that back like screw. Yeah, let's bring that back like screw. I think sometimes people forget how many classics Lil' O got, man. Nah, for real. I think I really can't come. Very few people can compare to my catalog. I just gotta pop my shit right fast. Nah, for sure. I gotta pop my shit right fast, man. You know, um, I've earned the right to be on here popping champagne, man. Make no mistake about it. This is this this is what it looked like when you stay down, man. Let's just so when you see these new videos. And you're like, God damn, man, this nigga still jamming. I want y'all to realize how long I've been beating these niggas into submission, kicking ass. Let's get into that zero and little oh, can't leave drink alone, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been, you know, I've been terrorizing these haters for a long time, man. And I will continue to do so. You know what I'm saying? I've been terrorizing these haters for a long time time you know what i'm saying um killing them with incredible music man um i'm really proud of that man real shit and um, so many with oh man oh i forgot you even had that song i forgot you hit, yeah man this just shit man this shit this shit this shit been a long time brother this shit ain't you know what i'm saying this shit really this shit really blood sweat and tears man this shit really blood, sweat, and tears, man. Um, uh, it's like sometimes I don't get the time to sit down like this 
and just watch my own videos. <laughs> right, right, right. No, seriously. Right. So it's like when I'm sitting back, I'm sitting back right now. Um, I'm sipping champagne. I'm looking good. I'm feeling good. And I'm watching my life's work. And it's very emotional for me. And I give God all the glory, man. Um, It's been a long, long journey, man. It ain't always been easy. And um, to be able to sit here in this fashion and look at it and watch it, man, I really, I really feel blessed, man. I really feel privileged and to still be alive and healthy and well and kicking ass in this fashion. God truly favors me, and, and I'm always giving him glory. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for sure. Uh, let's get into that zero and little old can't leave drink alone. Oh, that's just class. I think I've talked a lot. I don't want to talk that ear off too long, but um, I mean, my heart is full right now, man. Real talk, because like I said, I don't really get a chance to sit back. A lot of times you don't really get the chance to enjoy the fruits of your label and look at the art. And tonight, I watched Can't Stop video in peace and just really looked at myself. I watched Can't Lee Drink Alone. Um, I watched All Right. And then I watched some of my new videos like Date Night and Trill and um, bossed up and um I'm so proud of myself man it ain't always been easy um it ain't always been easy man but we still made a way to still be here sipping champagne putting in the name motherfucking face and you know what um it's not always easy but you know what um I live a blessed life man I live a blessed life man um, I've survived a lot, man. I've shed a lot of tears, man. And um, it's a lot of niggas that'll stand on that, man. Shout out to Brazewood Block, man. Shout out to all the OG 89ers. This Fat Rat, man. Fat Rat, man. This me, man. Shootouts in the condos, man. The wholesale, man. I love you boys, man. Shout out to all the niggas that was in Southwest Gardens, man. R.I.P. Lil Norris. I come, I, you know, I come up under Pike and Gala, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Woolfield, man. All the niggas that was in front of Sampy's on Club Creek is old. I came a long way, man. Shout out to all the niggas on Sam Piper, man. R.I.P. Tyrus, man. When I say Southwest, I mean it, man. Blood, sweat, and tears. It's real niggas that'll stand on that, man. Shout out to West Belford, man. Piney Point, man. The whole swap, man. Everybody's just rocking with me, man. It's been a long journey, man. And I love you, boys. Shout out to WV, man. Was a village, man. I love you, niggas, man. Real shit, man. Um. Before we even get out of this thing, man. Yeah. Um. If y'all got any last questions, man, I think we should end it. I think we'd only be right. It makes sense to end it with our song, Bag, Bag, Bag. You got bag. to. I was, you me, know, it's crazy. Me. It's crazy because me, I was going to tell you that. I'm, it's crazy because I was going to say that anyway. I swear to God, man. I swear to God I was going to say that, man. But, um, hey, quick, yeah, man. Sh oh, go, go question, ahead. My bad. Uh, yeah. Can you, can you, I know it's like, I know you've been talking, but shit, I ain't tripping. I want to hear the shit. The importance of the record. I keep hearing you say, Records, records, yeah. records, records. Yeah. So you might have a nigga that can rap his ass off, yeah, but can't make no motherfucking record. The records got to matter because the records is what make it stick. Yeah, hey, man, you could be a rapping ass nigga, but you got to make it stick, exactly. man. And guess what? The bars matter because For sure. you could have a record that could stick, but your bars is trash. And then to me, it's not special. Then, sure. and, and you know, um, what makes it special? Is when the bars and the song match. That's how the magic is created. You get what I'm saying? So the bars definitely matter. And uh, 
the hooks and the beat definitely matter, man. And um, That's shout out to all the producers, one man. One thing you good at, like from all your music from back in the day, to yeah, now, it's good beat selects. It's my gift from Great God, man. Um, it's my gift from God. I, look, man, it's you know one thing I know. Lil O can make a song. Lil O can make a song, man. And um, that's what's kept me around this long, man. So um, I can't stress it enough, man. Shout out to my hood, Southwest, man. Shout out to the whole Bray Block, Wolfville Club Creek, uh, Spice Lane, Airport Farms, and West Belfort, the whole SWAT, uh, Piney Point, man. Um, shout out to all my dogs in the feds, man. Um, Cause they watch this shit, man. And um, Black, I know you're watching, man. Hey, bro, I love you, man. Um, I miss you, bro. And um, I hope you're proud of me. I hope you're proud of me, man. Mac Biggles, man, my brother, man. Man, a lot of niggas switched up on me, man. You know these streets. They nasty work, man, but you've always been there for me, man. I love you, brother. I know you're going to see this, man. I know you're watching. Um, black ass. Black ass, I love you, man. It was never a time you hesitated to hop in that car, man. And I ain't never going to forget that, man. One of them, or you made one of them niggas, or you one of the reason niggas, niggas know not to play with me. Because you'd have to answer the black. And um, I don't ever want you to think that I'm acting funny. It's, it's um, when you call my phone, bro. Um, it's a lot going on. But black ass, if you listen, I know you're going to see this. Or I know one of the niggas from the hood going to get this to you. I love you. I miss you. And um, I can't wait to chop it up with you when you get home, man. To all the young niggas on the West, y'all my babies, man. I love y'all. I want y'all to live long. I want y'all to prosper. I want y'all to stop throwing away your life, man. Um, Everything don't got to end with gunshots, man. I come up boxing, win, lose, or draw. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got partners that I talk to to this day, Pee Wee. Pee Wee, I know you're going to see this, man. And I know you would want me to tell him this message. A lot of the things that you're killing for, you won't even care about 10, 20 years later. He's still, a lot of my, a couple of my partners, they still locked in there and they ain't never coming home. And the older you get, it gets hard to talk to guys on the phone that you know ain't never coming home. Because you grow up in life changes and, and so many of the beefs that you think is important, you won't even care about, man. You won't even give a fuck about. So to all the young niggas, man, put the guns down. Put the guns down. Quit killing over nothing, man. You're killing your brothers over punk money, man. The punk money, man. The punk money, man. If you get your ass whooped, you get your ass whooped. Hey, man, you box, get out there. Win, lose, or drop. Don't take a man life over that, man. Before I leave this shit, I got to say something real, man, because um, life ain't promise. I always want to make sure before I leave, I say something. I hope this generation of black men coming up, I hope it breeds uh, the most educated disciplined young niggas ever because you know back in the gap remember when prenup used to be a bad word yeah. you know i come from the doughboy era so that means a lot of the girls would be like hey you sell the dope but you're gonna invest in me you're gonna put uh you're gonna put the money in me i'm gonna get a beauty shop you're gonna put me through school i'm gonna start the business i come from that era so I saw with my own eyes how a lot of my partners finally came home after years of being in the feds and went there, and they were tired of in and going in and out of jail, and they wanted to switch their life, and they didn't have the bread like how they used. I saw with my own eyes 
how fast a lot of these ladies that they put everything into discarded them like they was nothing and treated them like they was less than. You get what I'm saying? All of a sudden they were sorry and this and that. And it was all off the doughboy money. Let me tell you to all the young niggas, man. Go to school. Learn a trade. Be just as educated as these women that are calling you broke or saying, because these same girls, because look, you go on the internet, what they tell you, what type of man you like? The nigga. What type of man you like? Uh, I want a nigga that's going to air this bitch out over me. I want a nigga that's quick to throw his life away. They, It's like, they always encourage us to crash out. And then when we, we become grown men and you're trying to figure it out, they'll shame you, man. Music saved my life, but I've seen the toughest of gangsters break down in tears, and there's no shame in it because they didn't know what they were going to do. And the woman they invested all this in that's now doing well looked at him like he wasn't shit. Back in the days when the woman used to talk in the kitchen, they used to be quiet. You didn't know what they was talking about. They could have been talking about plotting, taking over the world. You wouldn't know. But now you go on social media, look at the comment section. You know what they thinking, man. Yeah. They will leave you behind, kid. Don't get tricked off the street. Learn a trade. Go to college. Be educated. Make something out yourself. The streets is a lie. Lil O said that. Tria Spiel, man. And I'm a real trap nigga, and, and the West will stand on that. I know exactly what I'm saying. You will never be real enough. It is You will never be real enough. You will never be real till you're dead and you can't enjoy it or you locked up and can't see the fruits of your labor. So quit thinking that no, it's, 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 it can't happen to you. Yeah, you the realest and the realest of the realest. It will happen to you too. You cannot beat the streets. And um, I ain't gonna preach too much, but I gotta say that. I gotta say that, man. I hope this generation of young men really gets disciplined. Don't let nobody shame you for working. Don't let nobody shame you for having a job. You know, they call niggas that want to go to school squares and lanes. For all that is dead. What you are is a disciplined man, man. And that's what we need more of, man. Shout out to everybody that's been rocking with me since day one. The greatest of all players is streaming on all platforms now. My whole old catalog is streaming on all platforms now. I salute real life street stars for having me. Um, I feel it's only right we end it with this one, man. Let's end it with back back. R.I.P. Hawk. Hey man, to the next time, follow me on all my social media. S U C L O that's S U C L I L O. Shout out to everybody that tuned in. Y'all stay down. God bless, man.